my gosh. Find out if this was worth it or not. Five miles. Yeah, the five miles out here. Here we go. Hopefully we can find a sign once upon a time. Big body buck in here earlier this year, so. I just smoked a buck at 500 yards. Find out if this was worth it or not. Five miles. Another yeah, five miles out here. Muzzle loader, deer hunt. I'm breaking in a new send it hat. Hopefully we'll have some sweat rings earned after this trip, maybe even some blood. God willing, we're gonna send it deep here in the back country. We're gonna give it two and a half days and see if we can't turn up a mature buck. Also, Peyton and I are doing 75 hard, so it's gonna make this even more enjoyable trying to get our water in and everything else, so full send. Trying to figure out where we caught up. We cut up to go up the draw here. And what I'm doing is I'm using XDR to figure out where that point is. Yes, sir. Three quarters of a mile and we'll be hiking straight up. It's about to get gnarly. Love the new XDR. Water break. And Peyton been going about, I don't know, close to three hours ish. Probably. Thirsty. You thirsty? <laughs> yeah. Moment of truth. Five miles in. See how sweaty we got. I mean, I mean, that thing doesn't really show it as much as the problem. Your shirt's dark, but there's some dark spots. Uh, the hardest part's yet to come. We are to the spot where we're gonna climb. So this is the last water that we know of. So we're gonna put a platypus and an MSR filter here. We're gonna filter up. We're obviously drinking up here before we head up too. So when you're doing 75 hard and you gotta drink a gallon a day, it makes packing water suck. <laughs> Here we go, hopefully we can find him. I don't know exactly what he was, but I saw him once upon a time, big body buck in here earlier this year. So hopefully we can turn him up. Up the gnarly draw we go. With all of our water. We're up the mountain, the suck level is high, but I think Peyton is the hit the dung dragger button. I'll show you his hat, here we go. <laughs> It's been dripping off of me. Dude, it's like it's like you it's like it's raining above your brain. His locks carry an extra pound of moisture once they do. Then we can wring that out and drink it if we need it. Oh, that sounds delicious. We're almost there though. Yeah, we're almost there. Like by ten more minutes. Or maybe even less than that. We're super close. Well we made it. I'm not sure how much more light there is. Let's see. For an hour left to light, we're just gonna mosey up this ridge and glass a little bit, see if we can't locate it. And we'll go after in the morning. I'm probably 350, 400 yards across the canyon from where I saw this buck earlier this year. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a deer tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't. Dark. We're gonna head back, eat something, and go night night. Wait for the morning. Hopefully, turn up these deer. So that's the noise we heard last night while we were hiking out. No deer to speak of, so we're gonna bounce over to the next draw and kind of glass that side. Pistol B found the first deer of the trip. Little buck going up the side of the draw over there. The sun's coming up, so I expect deer activity to really get slow if it wasn't slow before. It's never too early for snacks. I'm gonna go. To breakfast first for meat stick. Let's 
just for fun. I want to see. Just getting behind this muzzle loader and I don't know, get down, get prone, and get familiar and comfortable. Oh yeah, it'd be game over. It feels really good. Travis built that muzzle loader for Aaron and I, and it's just it's solid when you get behind it. It's just like it's sweet. What do you think of that? Yeah, you can smoke something on this. That feels nice. I told Peyton to get behind that because that's solid. Looks like a bear needed our freeze dried milk more than we did. Looks like he got himself some mac and cheese. And the one that I'm most interested about is this one. The mushroom sauce with noodles. It's a good thing I don't have a bear tag. And I've got to clean up the garbage. Hopefully he doesn't smell these remnants and come back here and chew on me and Peyton at night. <laughs> well, we haven't talked about our camp. We should show you one of the crappy setup we have. What are you talking about? <laughs> Alright, so check this out. So me and Peyton got here late last night and put up this lighting equipment tarp. We're way back in here. We have our lighting equipment quilts. There's my pad that wasn't warm enough for me. Peyton's got his stuff in here sideways because our feet were hanging out of this thing. We put our rim rock trekking poles to anchor it down. I do know that I gotta beat Peyton to bed tonight though so I don't have to listen to him snore. <laughs> That's what you gotta do with Peyton. Beat him to bed. All right, so I went on a little exploratory mission here in search of water. Looks like I found some water right here in this creek. I'm gonna mark it here on base map. Boom. Marked us some water. Yeah, I'm just exploring here a little bit in case we ever hunt this again. It'd be just nice knowing, kind of knowing what's around, even though hunting is not worth a darn right now, but. Everything's kind of moving right now at once, so we're just trying to keep our eyes in a lot of different places. So it was nice kind of seeing things liven up a little bit. It's a calm night, no wind. It's perfect for animals to be moving, so we're about out of camera light, we're about out of shooting light, so next few minutes here we'll pack up our stuff. Here. The bear got our food, so me and Pete are splitting meals.
right, right below it. My first ever muscle loader hunt. I just smoked a buck at 500 yards with a 45 cal with a loop bolt mark five. Man, I'm new to this muscle loader stuff. I did not hear the bullet hit. Oh my gosh, I got a call here. We're gonna go back up camp, dive off, and up the other side and hopefully recover my buck. Take care of him quickly, get some photos, and get in and out of here. So that's what we're gonna do. Wow, such an incredible animal. 45 cal muzzleloader, 500 yards. Stuff right here. Front shoulder. Beautiful, beautiful. My gosh. You find out if this was worth it or not. Five miles. Yeah, the five miles out of here. Look how excited there is. I just got home, my little girls are excited to see my giant muzzleloader butt. Hi, Jerry! Woohoo! Look at him, guys! Who wants to hold You two hold him. No, I Oh, Bandry knows how to hold him. Look at Peyton and hold him. Hold him, Jerry. Okay, look at Peyton. Oh, that's a big buck, Jerry. Okay, girls, get by, get by me and yours. Thanks for watching my muzzleloader deer hunt. For this episode, we're giving away a $500 TS Customs gift card that you can apply towards any build, whether it's a rifle or muzzleloader. Travis builds some of the best guns on the market, and now you have the chance to get one. To enter this giveaway, you need to subscribe to the Muley Freak channel, like this video, and leave a comment about what your favorite part of this adventure was. Also, be sure to share the video on social media. We appreciate it. That's how you're going to help us grow, and we'll catch you on the next video.